In this edition of Change Makers, we celebrate the power of women in the realm of innovation. Energy conservation has enormous potential to boost economic growth while reducing greenhouse gas emissions, turning off the light when you leave the room, unplugging appliances when they are not in use, and walking instead of driving are some of the steps that we must take in order to conserve energy. Energy conservation is the need of the art, and taking that into cognizance, an innovator named Damini Ghosh has made an energy saving device. This is a ready to use device that can be connected to any appliance and can save 30% of the electricity. Another long persisting problem is of evaluation process. The semester evaluation contains so many processes like shuffling, bundling and evaluation at various institutions. This shuffling process is very time consuming and requires a lot of manual work at the same time. But luckily, an innovator named Ritika has found a solution for this problem and came up with an innovative idea for the same in the form of Super Shuffling Machine. Welcome to another edition of Change Makers. We wish to dedicate today's edition to women power and its ability to bring about a positive change. In this edition, we will introduce two women entrepreneurs who went out of their comfort zone and worked on the issues that touch our lives in one way or the other. These innovators are Damini Ghosh and Ritika Chandran. While Damini worked on the burning issue of energy conservation, Ritika tackled the issue faced by the teachers during semester evaluation. Please join me to welcome Damini Ghosh to begin with. Welcome Damini Ghosh for this edition of Change Makers. Damini, please tell us about your innovation. Uh, so basically, I'm Damini Ghosh and uh, the innovation or the product innovation that uh, me along with my teammates have made is known as an energy saver. Uh, it has won the National Innovation Contest 2020 and uh, the innovation is just basically a appliance or rather it is a device that which when connected to any heavy load appliance like an air conditioner or refrigerator, washing machines can save up to 30% of electricity and uh, cut down the electricity bill of the common man. That's the innovation about. Yeah, that's great. Uh, what problem you are uh, specifically solving through this energy saving device? Please explain. Uh, yeah, so the thing is, uh, whenever most of us are unaware, unaware of the fact that whenever we are switching on our air conditioners or refrigerators, any heavy load electrical appliance, it draws an extra amount of high peak current, which it does not require for its working application. But uh, the units are being consumed, so we are paying for that extra amount of electricity which we are not utilizing to our benefits. So why should we pay for that extra amount of electricity? So that is the main thing where we are pointing out at. Uh, we are basically trying to cut off or truncate that extra high peak current through our device. And uh, the device mainly consists of a semiconductor uh, uh, device known as TRIAC along with a programmable microcontroller IC and uh, it helps in truncating that extra high spikes or the peak current which the air conditioner or any high load device is drawing and we are paying for that and in that case it is uh, saving around 30 to 40 percent of electricity and definitely it is cutting down the electricity bill of any common man or institutions and everything so that's it's the interesting it is thing. very much cost effective for all right yes yeah. Also, once it is out the market, how will people know about it? Do you have some pro promotional strategy in mind? Uh, yeah, firstly, uh, there's this concept that people, uh, as because we are a new brand, people won't be believing us at the first stage. So we plan to do social media marketing and promotions because everyone is using social media, Instagram, Facebook. So we plan to promote it through social media. We plan to sell it on e-commerce platforms like Amazon Flipkart because people trust, uh, you know, uh, online shopping is all we have right now. So people trust those sites along with other retail stores, local retail stores, like uh, we have Reliance Trends and uh, 
other retail stores that we have we plan to coordinate with them so that they can even sell our products and of course we have direct sales option as well so that is the first stage of promotional strategy strategy that we have through uh, people who are already in the business because uh, and that's then establish our own name yeah that's great because a marketing strategy is one of the uh, yes. important aspect in the startup great yes. so what was your inspiration or uh, your source of motivation behind this innovation um so basically uh, i am an electronics and communication engineering student and uh, my father is from the same background so when i was young i used to see him work on circuits and he's uh, sort of uh, fixing everything in the house so uh, when i was in my first year the first thing that we uh, came to know in engineering college that we have to do some project we need to do some project so the first thing that came into my mind is uh, why not make it something innovative like everyone is doing some project or the other so how can i make mine different and then uh, in my house due to my mom's high blood pressure ac is working all the time like every time even in the month of now it's uh, march first march uh, during the night time uh, we switch on the ac so because of my my uh, mother's health problem so and the bills were increasing highly so that was the first time when it occurred to me like if i can do something in that area so that the bills can you know if, even by 1000 or 2000 rupees if we can reduce it then it will be helpful for everyone so that was the first inspiration and because i am an ec student so uh, further i studied into the subject that where uh, how acs work and what i can use so that i can do something and reduce the bill or the current consumption so that's how it started that's really interesting what is your take on increasing a role of women in the world of startup and entrepreneurship um uh, from my uh, personal experience i would say that uh, personally i didn't face any problems as such because uh, uh, the other two teammates i have they are both men and they have been supporting me like immensely including my father he has also been supporting me but one of the major challenges that i think that women nowadays are facing is that uh, it's said that it's a man's world right so Uh, women are not being taken seriously that they can handle a situation or that they can um, you know uh, face analytical uh, problems and solve them they are not being taken seriously and that even happened in my case also when the product was in its initial stage people were were not taking me seriously that was the first problem and secondly i feel in our country there are still places where uh, women don't get this opportunity or they don't think about business or entrepreneurship in the first hand the first thing that they think is that they'll get educated or then they can do a job the thought of entrepreneurship and women in entrepreneurship i think it's still limited in some places in india but personally in i in my ca- case i have re- received immense support from the men in my team Uh, the one who handles financial operations including mar and also the marketing they are both men and they have been supporting me immensely and they believe in whatever i say because i am uh, i am mainly the r and d the research and development developer and uh, working on the technical part so i think uh, there are people who are supporting you but people need to have that education and women, women need to have the education so that they can move forward into any field whether it's entrepreneurship or a uh, job or anything they want to pursue i think it's good to know the support you are getting from your team yeah. uh, for budding entrepreneur uh, the world will change it's keep on changing yeah definitely yeah uh, there is a range of energy saving devices available in the market so how is your device uh, unique from all of them and creating a difference in the society okay so basically uh, when i did uh, when uh, i did my competitor analysis we found out that in whenever you type uh, energy saver in amazon or flipkart they will show you this small night lamp thing but actually it consists only of a capacitor which is storing energy so it is sort of creating a false facade like it is saving energy or saving electricity but our device is working on a completely different technological parameter and it is actually saving energy or cutting down on the electricity 
uh, or the current that's one thing and secondly there is another competitor known as Eno Life uh, we have that brand uh, but the thing is they are selling it for a much much higher cost like uh, around double or triple our cost so I think ours is much more cheaper plus it's portable it's shock proof it's waterproof and it's really user friendly like you anyone can actually plug it in it's like as easy as charging uh, a mobile so I think that's how it's different from the competitors in the market and the biggest competitor I think are inverter ACs but maintenance of inverters inverter ACs is really high and uh, like you need to change the entire module and it's really cost uh, it's not at all cost effective so but on the other hand our device will provide a warranty period along, along with complete replacement and it's really cheap. So okay. I think that's how it's different. How people can connect it to their appliances and also is it uh, cost effective? The plugging in uh, the energy saver is as easy as charging a mobile phone because all you need to do is uh, take the plug of the air conditioner or the refrigerator and plug into the main socket of the energy saver and plug the energy saver to the main power line. That's it. That's all you need to do. There's no other hassle. And regarding the cost effective thing, we are providing the device at a much cheaper rate, like one unit will cost only 3000 rupees, whereas our competitors are selling it for around 10 to 12,000 rupees. And uh, the technological parameter and to operate it, it's really simple. There's no hassle or anything. Once you plug it in, it will work on its own and you will get to see the difference once you uh, in the electricity bills after a month or two or uh, two's time that's it yeah it's amazing uh, Damini we are waiting for product to come to the market and yeah. uh, how did you utilize your funds received from MIC and did you receive mm -hmm. funds from other sources too uh, the fund that I that we received uh, first phase funding it was uh, the first thing that we did was we applied for the patent and thankfully we got the application number it's still pending but hopefully in a few weeks time uh, we'll have our patent that's the first thing that we did and then uh, we produced 50 prototypes and uh, 20 of the prototypes are being uh, extensively tested at our college itself uh, in Kolkata uh, 20 other prototypes we are testing it in a factory at Kuj Bihar that is in West Bengal and we have also provided some of the prototypes to our friends and family and we have received uh, satisfactory feedback Apart from that, we are working also on the product development. We are testing it with IGBT and we are working on the looks of the product. That's the main thing that we are working on right now. And also in product development, we are trying to change the components, the inner circuitry for better efficiency so we can save much more electricity or uh, we can reduce the size or uh, the weight. We are working on that and that's how we utilize the first phase of funding and uh, no uh, regarding any other funding places we didn't receive any other funding this was what we received till now yeah that's great it's good to know yeah. you have applied for the patent as well so yeah. what are your future goals so regarding the future goals the first thing that we uh, want to do is uh, the thing for which we need the second phase funding as well is the marketing capital we want to market the product in such a way with you know with ad agencies and also we have talked with other marketing agencies so that they can help us circulate forms and you know take the market analysis into account that's one thing apart from that we want to test the product with IGBT which I am currently it's in process so that for better efficiency and also reducing the size we further want to expand our business like to other states of West Bengal as well like first we want to uh, start with Kolkata and then we want to expand to other states and if we can you know crack a deal with, deal with the shopping malls or the restaurants because they are extensively using air conditioners they actually need this device more than anyone else so we can if we can crack a deal with them right now we even have cracked a deal with the entire techno india group in the east region so that they can incorporate it in their institutions uh, the deal has been tracked through our college only so if that deal comes into hand then we'll be uh, installing it in all the colleges uh, of the group techno india group that's one thing and apart from that uh, 
I think we'll be adding more products to the, if we want to expand the business, we are working on a few other prototypes as well so that we can bring it, uh, them to the market as well. So that's all. Yes, I mean, it's good to know that you understand the market thoroughly. I'm, yeah. I'm sure uh, such an impressive product must have received many accolades and recognition. Please share uh, a few with us. Uh, so the first thing that we, of course, National Innovation Contest, that was the huge, that was the biggest thing that happened to us. And after that, uh, recently, on 30th December 2022, uh, we were, uh, we received the Innovation of the Year Award at the 36th Industrial India International uh, Trade Fair organized by Bengal National Chamber of Commerce and Industries and the Sister Nivedita University. That was one thing. Apart from that, we also won a HALT Prize on campus on uh, 2022. And uh, we also were the finalists at the Melbourne Regional Summits. Apart from that, uh, we participated in a few other uh, business plan competitions where we pitched for uh, the prototype and we got a few positions over there. But uh, the recent thing that the Innovation of the Year Award, that was a big thing that we received. And of course, uh, that's it. Yeah, well, congratulations. Yeah. Like, you have received yeah. many awards. And we wish you uh, all the best in your future endeavors as well. Thank you, Dami. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was Damini. Let's hope her entrepreneurial journey takes her to the pinnacle of success. Now it's time to invite our second innovator of the edition, Mrs. Ritika Chandran. Mrs. Ritika Chandran, please tell us about you and your innovation. Hello, everyone. Myself, I'm Ritika Chandran. Now I'm probably say that with the help of AICTE, I'm an, a thought of runner for an biotronical hub and my innovation is entailed super suffling machine. This is an, a particular innovation used during the evaluation process of uh, semester examinations. Uh, what uh, this particular problem you are solving through your uh, super shuffling machine? Please explain how does it work? Mama, actually, I'm already told about the steps and procedures followed for an evaluation process. In that, for that particular evaluation process, nearly uh, third, 50 to 70 people were being uh, used for that particular evaluation process. Uh, and also, they have a uh, daily wages of 300 rupees per day. So, for example, if you take one member to uh, 30 days for that particular process, it alone takes 9,000 rupees. So, when you totally compare it, nearly uh, 4 lakh rupees alone, uh, they are spent it for the uh, particular evaluation process, bundling, and also transportation, etc. So, when we thought that our super suffering machine on the cost of uh, nearly three to four lakhs only so when once we finalized our product the particular uh, amount that we fixed for our product innovation uh, is an uh, investment of an uh, six months of process only so uh, our uh, machine is in uh, a very cost effective and also it is in uh, a first machine that will be in the market for that particular process so uh, i think uh, we will uh, provide in uh, a very cost effective because uh, they're spending it for uh, every six months they're spending nearly five lakh rupees so our machine is total cost nearly three lakh rupees only so i think uh, our machine is uh, this is, is in this way it was very cost effective uh, yes. great uh, Ritika, what was your inspiration or uh, your source of motivation behind this innovation? Ma'am, behind this innovation, it has a little bit of story. So, in college also, I am a uh, well uh, studying student and head of my class also. So, when the Entrepreneurship Development Institute of India arranging one boot camp at uh, Periyar University, Salem, and also in uh, another Vinayaka Mission Fund, another one autonomous college near Salem. So, when I am going to attend this boot camp, uh, one resource person came from university and uh, he was discussed so many things. Actually, in that boot camp, we are in a people of uh, engineering students, medical students, pharma students, arts and science students, and it is in a mingle of uh, boot camp. So, so uh, when uh, he asked me some questions about engineering uh, so actually i have uh, so many bond in engineering so i was challenging him that if you said any problem i can solve with our solution and technology likewise i was challenging him so at that time he tell us about this particular problem 
so in our university we are facing this problem uh, evaluation problem which i said earlier so at that time i was challenging him that sir every problem has a solution and definitely we will give that for that so at that time in 2020 i am a final year student of ece uh, so at that time i was taking it as an a challenging product now it is became my life yeah it's great uh, ritika uh, what is your take on increasing role of women in the world of startup and entrepreneurship being a woman please Uh, Ma'am, actually, uh, the real thing is uh, we have an independence at 1947. But uh, during this uh, decade also, we are uh, when uh, particularly women come to in a manufacturing process and so many things, we are facing so many struggles. And also, uh, when I was in a going for this innovation, I'm also facing personally. I'm not able to go some. places uh, after 10 o'clock or after 11 o'clock it's an it was a very uh, difficult thing for me so uh, when uh, i was started that i planned that every woman should come for forward under doing this so when i uh, going to start my product innovation i planned that i'm only uh, taken an employees of women employees only so for a particular machine it has an uh, two operators and one developer and one mechanical engineer as well as an electronics engineer so i planned to uh, take all women employees and give them a full freedom for them if my industry is going after 10 o'clock they wish they can work so not uh, looking to other in the industry so this is the way forward some steps i was uh, taken to work on a women entrepreneurs through my innovation also yeah that's great you are taking lot of steps to empower women in the field uh, what are the challenges that you faced at the onset of your journey as an entrepreneur ma'am it is a very big thing because when a yeah, woman particularly came from a middle class family with a single mother it is a very big talk because uh, have, uh, Uh, as a woman i went to in a product development to coimbatore for in a prototype development nearly coimbatore to bhavani it will take around 3 hours of traveling so when i have to wake up at 6 o'clock then uh, cook for my team myself uh, my team members two members uh, uh, for electronic engineer and mechanical engineer then i will go to coimbatore nearly 8 o'clock i was uh, again uh, completing my product development then i will come here uh, nearly uh, after in midnight 12 only i came to home in between i am not able to cook for all the time so sometimes and also the budget for our uh, product uh, it also in you know, a too much uh, cost because i was borrowed from my friends and family only so initially i don't have any amount in my as well financially uh, so uh, at that uh, particular difficult period uh, so i was having a money for an a bus service to go there but uh, i did not have any money to come back but what a hope that means god will help help me in some other way or any way so i just uh, came uh, came to my product development definitely in that particular day i will receive that particular amount so in uh, in that uh, difficulty period of an uh, 3 months uh, we did not eat our lunch also so because uh, uh, for three people it is nearly uh, 250 to 300 rupees for alone takes to our lunch so uh, we uh, even we avoid our lunch because we are working overtime 2 to 3 it will take so when it is come to 4 o'clock we take we just take some tea and samosa itself uh, so uh, life is uh, that uh, particular 3 months was in a very golden period of my life also sacrificing so many things uh, and sacrificing so many people so on the particular period when we come i was spend nearly 5 lakh and 65000 rupees with an initial i didn't have zero paise so finally and when i was uh, take it off i have an a 5 lakh of 65000 rupees but i did not uh, get any output from my prototype so i was totally upset and uh, up close so then only i was participated in national innovation contest at that time i was uh, competed two levels then third level of competition were conducted there so i was attending that third level and the result is came that i was an a finalist and with the grant amount of 6.5 lakhs so i, I think uh, at that time only i believe that god is alive and uh, definitely our hard work never fails and uh, it will be reback so after that again i start my prototype with uh, initially first uh, after completing r and d so uh, initial 3.25 lakhs now spended and uh, we start up started and officially registered our company biotronical hub now the gst registration also completed uh, so this is an a uh, start up story of my innovation and uh, great 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 uh, ritika is there any other similar machine available in the market if yes 
And then how is your super shuffling machine device unique and making an impact? Mama, actually this is a first product uh, which is uh, new to the market. So uh, now we don't have any competitors. We, if we look for any uh, competitors, means uh, they are an automated uh, machine making industries only. But uh, we did not see any similar products in the market. Our product is an only innovative product to the market uh, in first time. Okay, great. Uh, how did you utilize your funds received from MIC? And did you receive funds from some other sources too? Uh, no, ma'am, as I said earlier that uh, I was uh, collected the fund uh, as in borrow from my friends and family only. Then uh, ACC will uh, fund their MIC innovations uh, will help me with the fund of 3.5 lakhs. Uh, we utilized this fund for our to start our company and as well as in a technology development of new product. It's good that you have bootstrapped and uh, the first help you got it from MIC through National Innovation Contest. Yes, Please tell us how National Innovation Contest helped you in your startup journey. Ma'am, actually, uh, in true words, that uh, National Innovation Contest only gave me a life as an engineer. Uh, so, uh, for every engineer, it was an dream that they have to do work with their core uh, so so many uh, they are uh, some other people uh, go for an IT field and so many things but uh, when we I will take an ECE that I was uh, very focused with uh, I was something to do with my core and uh, particularly in innovation uh, so that is a uh, true uh, MIC so to help me uh, to achieve it so you register with startup right yeah ma'am Great. If you have to give a message or some advice to a budding entrepreneur, what would it be? Mama, my particular advice is, uh, once you take some innovation or other things, you should stand financially very strong. And also because when we go for some prototype, you get failure so many times. But uh, you planned it for a uh, first prototype. But you need to develop 10 or 15 or more than 20 or sometimes. So when we go for that, the financial step is very important. And also that please go with uh, uh, some steps that you will finalize it. For example, if you developed the particular product, means you have first testing, then we have to be in a uh, manufacturing, then only you have to be in a commercialization, then only you are going to be in a registered company. So do not waste your time from a uh, backward classes. So first you have to uh, plan yourself uh, what you have in a dream accordingly. It's great you understood thoroughly the uh, entrepreneurship process flow. Uh, yes, what are your future goals, Ratika? Mama, actually my future goals is uh, uh, it is not manufacturing in a same product uh, like in a super supply machine. I want to do it within a different type of product and innovation. For example, uh, take some idea and have to develop it into in a particular product, which uh, especially is a commercialized product. This is used for in a rural area people. And also, BR Chronicle Hub is not only used for in a manufacturing process and innovation product development. It also used to for in a, uh, towards in a women empowerment related uh, small things manufacturing. So likewise, uh, we are planning accordingly. Man. Good, great. I am sure such an impressive product must have received many accolades and recognitions. Please share a few with us. I am, yeah, uh, actually I was received an uh, innovator award uh, in our college level only. Uh, then I did not apply it for uh, any other competitions and other things because we are receiving funds from uh, uh, AICT, MIC innovation cell. So the project duration is not completed till now. So uh, I wait to complete this, uh, then only I just uh, applied it to any other sources. Thank you, Ritika. Thank you for being with us. We wish you all the best for your future endeavors also. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Our women innovators and entrepreneurs like Damini and Ritika are proving to be a real game changers. Their work will certainly go a long way in bringing about the desired betterment in our life. Let's extend our support and cheer for them as they take their confident strides towards success and triumph. That's all for today from I end. We'll meet you soon with some more inspiring stories and personalities. Till then, take care.